Bonjour, mesdames et messieurs. In this episode, I show you how to make a complete website, including e-commerce and blog, with Squarespace. Bonjour, mesdames et messieurs. My name is Serge Ramelli. I'm a French photographer living in Paris, right now in Los Angeles, California, and I make two tutorials per week. Click here if you want to subscribe to my newsletter and get over hundreds of free raw files from all over the world. And click here if you want to subscribe to my YouTube channel. In last episode, I showed you how to take a photo of Paris uh, without a tripod. It's a really cool technique after sunset. Uh, some places you just cannot have a tripod. And this is the final result. In this episode, I'm going to show you my full workflow on working with Squarespace. I love these guys and how to make a blog uh, with portfolios, e-commerce, uh, everything. It's, uh, it's a pretty long video, it's almost an hour, but we'll cover everything. And it's amazing that we can cover so much in one hour. But before that, I just want to announce that I have a special price on my complete package. What my complete package is, is basically just all the course I've ever done. It's like $1,600 worth of training. Normally it comes on to $340, but for a limited amount of time, it's $300. We are doing this because we are launching a subscription basis only for people who bought the complete package. Meaning if you buy the complete package with everything that I've done, for $20 per month, you will get all the updates, not in streaming, but in complete download. All right, so let me take you to Squarespace and let me show you how we can make... Bonjour, mesdames et messieurs. So in this tutorial, I wanna show you a bit of a more in-depth tutorial on how to make a website using the technology of Squarespace. Uh, Squarespace technology is what I use. If you go to uh, uh, sergeramellyphotos.com, that website has been uh, completely done with Squarespace. And uh, I really like it and it's uh, mobile friendly. Uh, I have, uh, well, I choose like a template for very, very uh, big photos because I think uh, I like that, but you can also click here. So you can jump on like any photos, um, landscape and travel. And so we're gonna recreate this sort of a web, website, but this time I'm gonna use it as a template just for, for the fun. Uh, I wanna talk to you about something that's very important about if you make your, your website, and that is about editing your own photo. What I mean by editing your own photo is, uh, I get a lot of emails per day and so a lot of people send me their website or portfolio and there is one thing I notice a lot and that is that a lot of people put a lot of photos for example they have like a Paris section and that section is gonna be like 80 photos or something okay now that's way too much photo um, if you look in my Paris section I only have 20 okay now the reason for that is uh, is because if a big brand is trying to to contact me, I only want to show them my best best job. I don't want to show them anything which is not uh, for me the top of the top. And also, too much work uh, is getting confused. So the the best way to do that is really to um, to uh, limit the number of photos. That's my tip of twenty. Scott Kelby was telling me this story. He's got on his own portfolio. I think it's twenty or twenty four photo per section. So like I have Paris landscape. Uh, the knees, you know, this is different sections and I only have 20 in each of these sections. The reason is uh, if you have like one or two photos which are bad or like are so-so, they're not. And if, if a brand wants to hire you, they will focus on these two photos. Uh, so it's really a, like a public re relationship, of, you know, uh, thing where you're just trying to broadcast your best work. So that's very important. That's, that's really my first tip. And um, so, yeah, and I'm gonna show you also how to use the whole commerce uh, of Squarespace. So if you wanna sell like fine prints or digital downloads or other things. And we're just gonna really go through uh, and also how to uh, set up your, your, and that's one thing I find that's amazing with Squarespace is that you can create your website and, and choose the name of your website like within Squarespace. You don't have to go to a register like GoDaddy or Gator, take a domain name and then do like a DNS with our, it's all included in Squarespace. And just that is, is, is one of the things that sold me Squarespace too. So, um, okay, so let's get started. So uh, the end result we're looking for is something like this. So we've got different sections, like here is Paris, landscape, travel, Venice, portrait, um, interior. I'm not gonna put interior, uh, I'm not gonna do that section because uh, I didn't prepare anything. We'll do, we'll do like a little contact page with like 
field where people can contact you. We'll do like an, an about page, you know, with tags and photos. And we'll do a little boutique so you can sell some stuff on it, you know. So it's also like an e-commerce thing. And I think Squarespace, I've used WordPress for many years. And although WordPress is like, uh, you can do anything in WordPress, it's, it's got a long learn, learning curve. And it's, um, I used to pay more money to the OVH uh, hosting system that I, that I was using and for the domain name and the hosting, WordPress technology was free, but all the hosting and the domain name was, you know, I had to pay for it. And I was paying more than just using Squarespace for the domain name and the, and, and the hosting with all the Squarespace technology, which I find a lot more powerful than WordPress technology. Maybe, you know, uh, some people who likes to really get into, uh, you know, uh, programming and coding, uh, but this video is addressed to like photographers or hotels, restaurants, whoever wants to make a website really fast and it wanted, wants to make it looking professional. So before we dive into making the website, just uh, uh, I want to show you something. I, I created galleries of photos that I'm going to be uh, showing on the website. So as I told you, uh, every section, so I've got landscape travel, Paris, portrait and Venice. Every section has got uh, about 20 photos. And the thing is, look at the size. Well, this is a, a, a wrong example, but most of the photos I've been using is around uh, 2000 pixels wide. Now people have been asking me like, what's the best size that I should put my photos to? Basically, I would say that the best size is 2500. Why? Or you can do like 3000. Why? Because Squarespace is then going to use their own technology to make all the thumbnails they need, all the smaller size they need. And as far as I, I know, the biggest screen in the world right now has have a resolution of about 2,500. I know there is like 4K screens coming out. That's like 4,000. But it's not everybody who's got a 4K screen. So I would say 2,500 uh, is a good size. So you can export from Lightroom, you know, all your photos you want to put up at 2,500, you know, of width. Because uh, that's about the, the best screens in the world. That's about the size they have. So in case somebody wants to see the photo full screen, they got it right. And then Squarespace will just downsize it. Okay, so now, so that's all you need to do. You need to prepare your galleries, okay? I have a little logo that's, uh, that I'm going to be using. And within the portraits, I also have a photo of me that I'm going to be using for the About page. So... I got that ready and I'm ready. So I'm literally on squarespace.com. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to log in because I already did the, um, the get started. So, but I'm going to show you how, from the start. So you, you, the first thing you do is you choose a template. Okay, in this case, what all I did was, uh, I think I picked up, and you can change template afterwards. But I think on this one, I picked up, um, where is the template that I picked up? It's... Um, well, I don't see it there anymore. Oh, it's this one, I think. Yeah, Galapagos, Galapagos. So I picked up that, so you just click on View Galapagos. And, you know, and that's, it shows you how it looks. Uh, you can click like on a live preview, so you can see how it looks like uh, on, on the computer. Uh, or you can go back and see how it looks like on, on an iPhone. If you go back, oh, I'm sorry. I went I went back too many times, so View Galapagos. You see, it, it goes, that's the model you can click and see how it looks on an iPhone and even play around with it. So I'm just going to go and start with this design because what I like about this one is that um, I don't like when my photos are cropped. So, you know, if I've got like a, a landscape photo, I want it to respect the landscape format. If I've got like a portrait photo, I want it to respect that. That's why I took Galapagos. I'm going to start with this design and then you just put first name, last name, your email, password. Now. I'm not going to do that because I just did that. And that's the only thing I did was create an account. It's totally empty. I didn't do nothing, nothing. So let me go back to squarespace.com and we're going to pretend I just didn't want to bother you. That's so I'm going to type in my login and password. Hopefully I do remember them. And also I'm doing this with an English keyboard, which is going to be funny for me because I usually use a French keyboard because I'm in Los Angeles right now doing this. Okay. And here we go. So this is the first screen you get when you uh, when you come. So just to show you around, uh, well, uh, you have different pages here. Um, and these pages, what it says, main navigation, these pages are like online. They actually exist. And then uh, you've got the not link pages, which you, you can create pages and not link them. Okay. Uh, so for now, uh, the sh a shop is actually the homepage. And... Um, 
I'm going to delete that. But before we, do, we go into that, uh, let's go into this tab, the basic information tab. So uh, I'm going to call this uh, Serge Ramelli Photography. Okay, tagline. Um, I'm not going to put a tagline. Seek demonstration. Uh, I'm going to go to uh, I'm going to go to this website, which just gives me text, and just take some uh, nonsense web uh, text, which is like uh, it's just a fake text and logo. So let's place a logo. So I just click on that, and I'm going to go photo for websites, photo search logo. Okay, so I put in a title. I put in a text. With that text, I can you know edit it. I can make this you know in bold and this in you know put in links and stuff. Okay, I can uh, browser and icons. Uh, that's a, a five icon. There's a little icon you see here. That little icon in a tab. So why not? I'm going to use the same one, the same logo that I did uh, my photo search logo. So it's going to process and resize it. And uh, seed type. Uh, I'm going to go for uh, business and photos that's a contact phone number i'm going to put some fake number 727 727 6521 completely fake and contact i'm going to put a contact which is fake at so germany at fake.com doesn't exist but it's just for for the fun all right, so here you can put your physical location and you can play around also with the um, the Google map to uh, put in something. This is, for example, Paris. I can just, you know, put the, your exact location. So I put some fake address. You can also put uh, your business hours. Well, we photographers work 24 hours, 24 hours. So I don't put a description. So that's the basic information. Let's jump to general. You have made changes. Do you want to save? Let's save them. Okay, here you can put your Google Analytics number if you want to, uh, uh, if you create an account on Google Analytics, which is free, and they'll give you like more analytics stuff and they'll give you a UA uh, identifier, identifier. And you just have to copy and paste that. This way you can really see, uh, you know, how, who is visiting your website. Uh, I mean, uh, Squarespace has got his own analytics, but this is, you know, more, uh, a lot more, okay? Uh, type kit ID, I have no idea what that is. I'm not been using it. I guess it has something to do with uh, if you want to use type kit and uh, like more fonts, but they already have a lot of fonts. And um, this I, I'm, I don't use. Amazon associate tags, uh, that's for people which are partnered with Amazon. I'm not going to use that. Seed white password, uh, that's to create a, a private website, which can be cool. Uh, you know, for example, if you want to, I don't know, a, a place where people can only go, uh, they can be protected with a password. And uh, yeah, uh, homepage, shuttle format, site name. That's all I'm going to look at. It's just the, the main point I've been using here is just the Google Analytics. I don't want to go into every single function on, but that's all you need to know for now. Time geography. Well, you can, uh, you know, you can just move this around. I'm in Paris, so I'm uh, more here. Oh, oh, that's my time and uh, the language of the website. Uh, that you can save here. Okay, so I'm gonna save Paris. Okay, setting saved. Now that's a really cool feature. Check this out, domains. Now, I really like that. If you click on register for free, uh, well, you have to upgrade. You can only do it if you upgrade, but you just give a, a website name like, you know, like I did, searchremedyphotos.com. And it takes literally like 20 seconds and searchremedy.com is online hosted with the domain name. You don't have to go to another company. You just have to click your, the thing is this cannot be done with a free trial. It can only be done if you pay one full year of Squarespace fee, which is about like 80 or hundred dollars or something. And remember you can get 15% uh, off or 10% off if you use photo search uh, as you, uh, you know, when you check out. Okay, and uh, over, uh, overlays, uh, this I'm, I've not been using templates. Well, right now we only have one, which is the Galapagos, but we can change templates afterwards. Uh, billing, uh, this is the billing for you to pay. Right now we are, we are on a 13 days trial, which is cool. Okay, uh, connected accounts, now that's very important. So uh, if I want to connect uh, my, you know, you can connect your Facebook, your Twitter. So I'm going to connect my Facebook account, for example. So all you have to say is okay. And, uh, and Switcher would like to post to Facebook for you, not now, and voila.
So uh, I've connected my Facebook account to it. I can do that, you know, with Twitter, Google Plus, Dropbox. I mean, YouTube. Oh, I can do my YouTube channel. Let's do one more. Squarespace, this app would like to manage your account, accept, and boom, I'm connected to my YouTube channel. So we've got Facebook and YouTube. That's very important. Okay, share buttons. Uh, some Squarespace template includes share buttons that let users blah, blah, blah. So, well, by default, they will be just the one I've selected. Uh, also, you can uh, have your, this connected to Facebook page, but this can only be done with an upgrade account. So that's all what I want to show you. The, the main point really is domain. Domain is if you buy the full year and don't forget to use photosearch.com and no, a photo search as uh, when you check out or if you go to my website, uh, photo search to make sure you get the discount. All you have to do is go to photo search. Oops, I'm sorry. Photosage.com. You go here and you go to uh, news Squarespace. And uh, you can click click here to get started, and that's the way you get a 10% discount on, on the first year, which is really cool. Okay, so back to our configuration. So now we're ready to rock and roll and uh, start uploading photos. So let's go into the... Um, uh, you, when you click on the A, this is where you, you deal with all the pages. Now, there is an existing shop which I'm going to erase. So all I'm going to do is click here on this little cross to erase it. Uh, I'm going to erase shop. Oh, it says this patch cannot be used because it is our own page. That's fine. So we're going to create our own. So let's let's create a new page, which is going to be a gallery page. Okay, let's make it simple. I'm going to call this Paris, and um, I'm going to set this one as the home page. Are you sure you want to make this collection the front of the page? Okay, confirm for now. Save and uh, add items. So I'm gonna click here to add items. I'm gonna go photo for the website, Paris, and select all the Paris photos and click on open. Remember now this where 2000 pixel uh, photos, uh, I advise you to actually go to 25, uh, 2500 uh, of size. You'll just get a better resolution when you have a 2500 uh, you know, uh, monitor watching this whole thing. So I have a pretty fast internet, so it should load pretty fast. And uh, I can see the settings here, Paris, Paris. I can put a little description of the, so let's do that. I'm just gonna take some fake text, put this as a description, you know. I'm not gonna password protect it. I'm just gonna save that. So I have a little description on the text. And, um, and voila, now you can click, I can double click on, on a photo and give a title. And this is something I advise you to do. That's very important to give a little title and a little description to each of your photos. But, you know, taking into account that you're only going to put your best work out there. Uh, the reason is, is because then it's going to come up in Google image. And like, let's say this, this is, for example, uh, the Eiffel Tower. So I would do Eiffel Tower by night. That's the name of the photo, a little description with some fake test. Oh, sorry, Eiffel Tower is like this. And uh, no, oh my God. That's EFL towel. And uh, uh, I can disable or not the comments. Right now I'm gonna leave comments on and I'm gonna save. So people will be able to click on that photo and save it. And you see here, there's a little circle. And this is a really interesting feature because on some uh, on some templates or some mobile device, it's important to, uh, because to use that circle to really show what you wanna show what's the most important in your photo. Well, in this case, it's gonna be in the middle, but for example, on this one, I could put the circle here or here on that building if I wanna make sure of this. For example, I could put on this. In this way, if a template ever uses a photo and like, crops it in a way, it's gonna show this as a priority. It's gonna be the main focus point. So for each photo, I'm not gonna do that because it's gonna be a very long tutorial. You have to double click on it, put a title, put a description, a description. I really advise you to do that. It's gonna, your search engine optimization will be a lot better. Okay, so once you've done that, uh, well, we are ready to do a, another gallery. So let's click a, another page, add page, gallery. And this time I'm gonna call it uh, travel landscape, actually, because it's really, for me, it's all my travel and landscape photos. So I'm gonna save it and I'm gonna go to, uh, my landscape and travel, select all, open. 
And same thing here, you know, uh, it, it's important you double click and you just, you know, give a, a name to every photos. And um, because it's gonna help actually, uh, a couple of weeks back, I, I, I did a great deal with Nike.com and, uh, and they just Googled uh, some Los Angeles photos and funny it came on to me on Google image and they just is about the photo from me So that's very very important. You know, that's the other advice that I would give you. Okay uh, Actually, I believe that I can add another page while this is loading and I'm gonna call this um, Portraits 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 Okay, save and I'm gonna add my portraits so what I love about Squarespace and the reason I picked them up is I think the user interface is so uh, designed, it's really clean, uh, it's not confusing. I mean, if you've been using WordPress and you're not a geek, I mean, I'm a, bit, a little bit of a geek, but WordPress is like, you know, it's better if you're a bit of a coder, you know. You can get around if you're not, but this is like so much more professional. I really like that. Okay, so Paris, let's see if travel is loaded by now. Yeah, travel is loaded, so we can do it. It's loading in the background, I love that. So let's go for another gallery. No, I think I did all, all I wanted, all the galleries I wanted. Okay, and the next thing we're gonna do is, uh, I'm gonna add a blog. So that's what I really like about this thing. You can just add a blog like this and uh, search Remeli blog, you know, and then I'll show you how we can fine tune everything. And then I'm gonna add, um, I'm gonna add products. I wanna sell fine prints art. So fine prints, okay. So, and save. All right, and I'm gonna click another page. I think this one I'm gonna create just a random page, which is gonna be like a, um, an about page talking about me. All right, and then I'm gonna add another page, which is like a, a, con um, a contact page. All right, contact page. Okay, so now uh, let's go uh, and start looking like what the website looks like. So first, I'm gonna erase our story because we created that page. So I'm gonna delete that. That was in that thing. I'm gonna delete the gallery and delete the blog. It's already contact. Well, I already did that, the read me, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so now I uh, you see there is only shop left, but that's the home page. So I'm gonna take Paris. I'm gonna move it from not link to main navigation. I'm gonna erase that, delete. And this Paris is not my home page, okay? And then travel photograph tra landscape. I'm going to put it below and portraits. All right, now and I'm just going to uh, you know, drag and drop to make it page. more personalized. Uh, so let's go into. Uh, see, well, I can we'll click here to view the website. So I've got Paris travel landscape, so Remedy blog, find prints about page, contact page. So we still have a lot of work to do. So let's go to Paris, and on this one I can click here on the little paintbrush, and I'm now in style mode. For example, I find that the logo is too big. Well, I can just click on the logo. And here you have a site logo width, and I can just make this a bit smaller, like a lot smaller, something like this. All right. Okay, let's continue. Make it yeah, something like this. All right. Um, then I can click here, for example, on on the menu, uh, and I can change the font, for example. Uh, new nav accent color. I don't like that color. I can change the color to uh, white that little thing, or maybe blues, add some blue a little bit in it, uh, a bit stronger blue. You can play around with the color you can see here in real time. And uh, just make it, I'm just gonna make it white. But what, what I really wanna change is the size of the fonts and the type of the fonts. So um, nav link font, uh, let's go for, uh, uh, let's make it bigger, not 12, but something like this, maybe a little bit bigger. No, not that big, so it's gotta be on one line. Okay, that's cool. And um, let's go for Arial. I like Arial. For, I can change. So you've got a lot of uh, fonts you can use with this. A lot of fonts. Check this out. And uh, that's really cool. Some are really fancy. You know, like this, you know. But, um, you know, I'm going to go uh, traditional with Arial. Like that. Maybe, um, let's see. Uh, uh, not bold. I don't want to make them bold. Uh, and maybe just a little tiny bit bigger, something like this. I just want, still want it to be on one line. Okay. Uh, letter spacing, maybe a bit, you know, you can make the spacing between the letters a bit bigger. I kind of like that. It's cool. I, I like the, the menus to be on top like this. Okay. And uh, 
on the photo gallery styles. I mean, you can really uh, change everything there. So that's why it's like, you know, uh, every site can be become a unique by then, you know. Uh, um, I think I'm not gonna change anything on that, but you get the idea, you know, like let's say if I wanna change the background, I can click also on show all background color, put some, uh, you know, blue, gray color, something like this, you know, but I'm gonna keep it or black. I'm gonna keep it white. I think white is kind of cool. Not, uh, white is kind of cool. And, um, and voila, gallery style. Uh, gallery navigation bullets, I don't like that. Um, thumbnails, I, I'd rather have thumbnails. Uh, navigation, mobile style, thumbnails. Let's see what else we have. Uh, numbers, oh, you can have numbers. It's just when you navigate in this gallery. Circles, yeah, I'd rather have thumbnails for this ones. Okay. That's just some of it, but I'll show you more. Okay, I'll show you more. Style saved. So now uh, to go out of the style mode, you can just press escape and um, and you can click here and you, you're back into the, where you can see the gallery and I can go back here and um, in the settings. So we've added the, the image. Let's see here on the settings if there is anything else we can do. No, that's basically, uh, that's been, you got some advanced, you can add tags, categories, but I don't want to get too complex. I want you to be able to make a few website, but okay, so now we have all our three galleries and, um, oh, sorry, uh, Paris Travel and Escape, yes. And uh, let's see at the website, how the website looks like so far. So Paris, okay, you see how this gallery is like into a thumbnail. Uh, here it's it's basically in grid mode. If you want to change that, I forgot to show you that because by mistake I actually uh, put it that way. Uh, you have to go down to gallery styles. Uh, you got the mobile style gallery styles, and here it says slideshow. This is a slideshow mode, but I rather have the grid mode. I'm sorry, I said it was grid, and that's the grid mode. That's what you have by default with that template. So this is how you go from, um, you know, sorry, slideshow. Uh, to grid. I, I rather have a grid because as I said, the grid it respects the aspect ratio of all um, of all the photos, which is really cool. You see, if I click on a photo, I'm into a dark light box mode, which is kind of cool, which is kind of cool. Okay, so that being said, we have uh, the basic, basic uh, uh, layout for, for Paris. Now travel landscape, uh, it's, it's like this. And, um, oh, portrait is not there. That's interesting. Let's go and find out why portrait is not there. So let's go to Paris. Portrait, well, because I forgot to drag and drop it in the main navigation. So I want people to go to Paris, travel landscape and portrait. So let's check it out now. It should be online. Paris, which is the homepage, travel landscapes, portraits. Okay, and now let's do, uh, let's go to the blog. And oh, they also have like a sign up with a subscribe button, which is really cool if you want to get the people to subscribe, which I really advise you to do. It's a good way to uh, get in touch with your fans. Uh, so let's go on the blog. Now on the blog, if you want to add a post, let's go like the, let's go like this. I can write a post title: um, "Photo of Paris." Okay, and I can write here and. Um, so I'm gonna just take some text from here, boom, and write, okay. So I added some text. Let's say now I wanna add a, an image. You see here, there's a little bubble here. Uh, you, when you click on it, you can add an image. And so let's uh, take an image from Paris, for example. And don't forget, um, you can add a caption below. Voila, edit image, save. You can add a lot of stuff, you know, I could add a video, add uh, here, uh, image, gallery, I can add a gallery of video, uh, you know, uh, from a YouTube, let's take a video from one of my videos on YouTube. By the way, if you wanna add, so here I'm on YouTube, if I wanna add a video, I just look, I took one of my videos. You can just take the, the, the URL of the video directly, enter video, save. Right, so here is the video. Uh, 
from, from YouTube. So I did a blog post, some tags, a photo and a video, and I can go to a seven published and it's gonna publish the video. Uh, let me show you a few more uh, options on this. Uh, this is how it looks like. All right, let's go uh, back into uh, uh, our settings. So here is, I'm in search Meal blog and uh, I can double click on the, on the article itself. and I can edit it. So you can also add tags and categories, which is kind of cool. Like, let's say I'm going to create a category called uh, uh, photo uh, of uh, Paris. Whenever I do a blog post, I talk about Paris or about, uh, you know, a blog post that talk about tutorials, you know, and it's, it's a good habit for every blog post to have one or more category. I'm going to press enter. So it's tutorials because then you can use that later on to uh, showcast your, your blog post. People can filter that by category. Okay, so you can see it was posted this. So it's really straightforward. Now, if, if I wanted to make a, a, my, um, uh, sorry, if, I, if you want to see how it looks like, you just click on the little A here and that's how the, the article looks like. So, and if you want to do something, uh, you know, to, to make it more as you're liking, same thing, you can click on the paint here and you can change the style, the navigation, the header, the blog, unable blog sidebar. So this is uh, the, in the sidebar, you have the subscribe and the sign up and the categories. Okay, this is what I talked to you about before. If you have a lot of categories, it can be cool. Uh, high author. I would suggest you to leave in the sidebar uh, this. I think it's important because, um, you know, being able to sign up to your newsletter is really, really, really important. I'll show you later on how to uh, uh, eventually uh, uh, make this. Well, you can click here on, on this and you can change also, you know, the font and everything as usual. So when you're happy of the look of your blog, you can just click on OK and save. And let's make just another blog post just uh, for the fun. So um, let's press escape to go back. Uh, no, let's here on the little cogwheel and let's make a new blog post. So uh, add post, I'm gonna call this a photo of uh, Los Angeles, okay? And then I'm gonna uh, put some text here. So take some text from here. It's, it's fake test, sorry, here. All right, and then um, let's add a photo. So image, let's take the image from uh, travel and let's take one from Los Angeles. I have a nice one, this one. That's Los Angeles. All right. Uh, I can click the option, like clicking on the image will enlarge the image into a light box. I think that's a good idea for people. Okay, let's save it into the blog post and I can keep on writing some other things like this. And let's make another category, uh, add a category. I'm gonna call this uh, um, Los Angeles. All right, Los Angeles. Okay, enter, save and published. Okay, so now I got two blog posts. So view blog, I can click on view blog to see how it looks like. Uh, photo of Los Angeles. Oh, I don't like how that is. So um, I don't like how, how it how it stretched this. Let's see how it, I prefer. So if you wanna change that, you just go back here and click on photo of Los Angeles. And um, let's click on the, on, the, on, on, on the photo itself and I'm gonna make it stretch image to span the container. I'm gonna make it on stretch and then see if, that's, if that does any better. So view blog and now it did. And now it's, it's stretched to, to the article. Okay, so, and uh, category as a collection, this blog was previously pointed, has been removed, please select another. Okay, so categories. And voila. So now, about uh, about this uh, this side, which you can see here, uh, we click here, and this is where you have the options to uh, unable block sidebar or not. Now, the side of the blog, as you can see, there is like a little about us, subscribe categories. If you want to edit that, well, it's pretty simple. You have to. Well, you, I'm viewing the blog right now, and I can just can click here on the pen. And you can see, uh, now this does not work on all these all, all the templates, but it works on this one. So for example, here there is a, this thing here, which I don't know what it is, it doesn't work, so I can just click and start dragging it. 
uh, like this. Oh, sorry. I'm, I'm, I'm dragging this and I can just drag it. A trash will appear and I can just take it away. Okay, categories. I'm going to leave it for now and uh, subscribe is good. But let's say a little about us. Let's say that I want this to be above subscribe so I can click on subscribe and drag and drop this and change the order and put it on top. Okay. Uh, and then a little about us under it. And so basically this is how you edit what's on the, on the right side of your website. It, it works on that page, but on if I'm on the, uh, oh, sorry. Uh, stay on this page, I have to save this. Okay, and now if I go out of the edit mode and I'm, good, I'm going to Paris, you see it's, it doesn't work on the galleries, but it works on the blogs, on the blogs. So you have this on the side. So all you have to do is click here on edit and decide what you want or what you don't want uh, to be. Uh, I'll show you also how to set up the subscription uh, to you know where, so you understand where the mail goes to when people subscribe to, uh, to your blog. So that's basically how you set up a blog. It's, it's very simple. I really like how it's simple. Okay, so now let's go to a bit of a more complex one. Let's do the fine prints. Let's sell some photos. So I'm going to go back here. Okay, I'm going to go into the uh, fine prints, which is here and says add item. So I just click here. So you have the chance between physical, digital and service. So let's say, um, well, let's try all three of them. So physical. Okay, physical. I'm going to I'm going to sell a fine print. So I'm going to take a, a photo and uh, well, let's take this photo. Okay, so this is the photo I want to sell in fine prints. Now you've got some websites with like Smug Mug and everything where they do all the all the printing for you, but I know a lot of photographers they like to really, you know, sell the fine prints on a specific size and uh, they like to do their own prints and ship it to the person. So, uh, let's uh, let's call this one fine art print uh, the horse. Okay. It's better if I put a little F there. Okay. So I can put a little description. So same thing, I'm going to take some fake text that I'm going to put as a description, uh, of the, of the horse. Uh, but this is where I would give the size, for example, like for example, most of my prints is 105 centimeter large, uh, by, uh, 70 uh, centimeter high, for example, that's, I think it's something that's, that's the size I've been using a lot. Okay. So you can just describe your, what your fine art print, uh, you know, and, um, so let's edit the price. So I'm, let's say I'm going to sell this for uh, pricing. So let's go. You must define at least one option. Okay. So the price, let's go for $200. Okay. Um, okay. Price sales price, $200 on sale. All right. So that's just in case, like, let's say I want to make a promotion. Like I want to say it is $300. Okay. Let's, uh, you know, the regular price is $300 for example, but I'm making a price at 200. So it goes like 300, you know, uh, with a bar and then $200. Okay. Why not? Okay. The weight, uh, let's say that, um, it's a uh, one pound for example, it's or more, it's more like three pound actually. And um, dimensions, let's put some more dimensions. So, oh, it's an inch, length, wide inch. So it's gonna be like, um, well, let's put it again, one to five, or I have no idea what it is in inch. So I'm just gonna put it if it's in centimeter, but you, you get the concept, you know, um, it's, it's, it's completely like fake figures. Okay, so that's, uh, okay. So that's one and uh, let's, I could put a different size with a different price. Okay, uh, what am I missing here? Oh, that's uh, that's the individual number for the accounting. I'm gonna leave it that way. And uh, option name. So now I'm gonna make a small option. So there is like a uh, there's a small option. Okay, price small. What is that? Actually, that's not it. Two hundred. Okay. No, I think I'm making a mistake here. Okay, this is uh no that's uh that is the, uh, that's the options. It's actually it's not supposed to be small. It's supposed to be side. So I'm gonna call this size. Okay, I'm sorry, size. I've not used that option very much. Okay, size. So this one I'm gonna make it more expensive. This one is gonna be like uh, the ro regular price is a thousand, but it's gonna be a nine hundred, for example. Okay, enter. 
and uh, this one is going to be um, uh, it's going to be like 10 pound and uh, the size is going to be you know blah 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 okay it's completely fake and this third line I want to take out confirm okay so I got two sizes basically I got two sizes of fine print okay um, with two different price one is $200 one is $100 additional info you can add some additional flow like all my fine prints are done with uh, blah 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 you know uh, workflow uh, collect information uh, if you need a form well people when they're gonna check out they're gonna give you the address but let's say you wanted something else like you wanted uh, uh, you wanted to create a form so that people would tell you if they want to have like a frame version or not frame version or like a different look or like brown frame or red frame but I would create that in pricing and variance. This is where you can really get uh, fancy. Let's make it simple for now. Option. Um, so we have a thumbnail. Use custom add button label. Um, okay, why not? Feature products, and you can put it in feature products. This way I can put it on the side of, of my website. Okay, save and publish. So that's my first item to be uh, to be sold. Let's, uh, let's make a, another product to be sold. So you have... Uh, I only have one product limit because this is a uh, this is a, a trial version. But let's see how it works now. So let's see. Let's go to view products to see how people are going to watch it. So it's on sale. People can click on it. And uh, from two hundred dollars on. So select size. Uh, select size. Oh, I made a little mistake here on the size. So let me uh, let me change that. Let me edit. This product manage product uh, I did a mistake somewhere on the price settings no it's here it's on the item itself um, okay pricing and variant so blah 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 pricing stock size 200 oh I'm sorry so uh, let's uh, size this should be uh, small and this should be large that's the mistake that I did. So, all right, so we have an identifier, we have a price, we have a quantity of stock, so let's add 10 in stock of each, for example. Okay, and I'm not making them unlimited because our fine prints, each one is signed, and uh, small and large. Okay, let's click on save, and now let's see how it looks like. View products, okay, sale. Okay, select size, small, now it's $200, or large $900 add to cart and boom here it is okay and I can now check out shopping cart check out and uh, you know the person puts in the address continue and blah 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 well payments not connected so we would have to set that up so let's go back let's go back here and uh, set up the see how we can set up the payments uh, payments is gonna be in the dollar welcome to commerce get started with commerce so uh, this is where you actually would uh, start create a shipping option now that's uh, interesting so shipping option i'm just trying to make it very uh, easy so shipping options let's see what options we have uh, if you have sql rules, create shipping options for your customers so um shipping okay shipping methods and uh, blah 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 you've not created any shipping methods add a shipping method so let's do a flight rate. I'm going to do a flight rate and it's going to be like option name. It's going to be a fine art print. Okay. Um, per order fee, let's say $20 and per additional items, $20. So if somebody takes two photos, boom. Okay. So we have a uh, your store is prepared to sell to customers in the United States. All right. Uh, inventory where we have this which only have 10 in stock orders where we didn't get any orders yet uh, tax uh, where you can add your country tax accounting where you can connect this to um, apparently different softwares for accounting which is cool store setting your store is not live connect to strip to accept payments so that's one thing is they use a system called striped to accept the payment now I'm not gonna do it because this is a trial, but they don't use PayPal. That's one of the downside because I love PayPal. I think it's really cool, but you just click on connect Stripe. 
I don't think that's going to work because I need to create an account in a, and I'm not going to do that. Uh, but you get the idea. That's the, that's how you would go about it. Okay. Oh, I just got logged out of that. So uh, yeah, you have to go there and you have to. Uh, so what else is there to do? connect to Stripe account and flip the switch to go live? Okay. Now this two last step I cannot do, but it's really easy. You just connect to your Stripe account and then you uh, flip the switch to go live, which you cannot go now because. Uh, on store settings, I need to connect first. You can choose your currency, measure, blah, 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 next order, express checkout, which um, if express checkout is unable customer, we see purchase button instead of add to cart. Uh, that's pretty cool because I mean, you know, usually when you sell fine art print, I would uh, put this option. People are not gonna buy five photos from this, it's gonna be like one, you know? So that's kind of cool. Um, oh, newsletter. Now, if you have an, an advisor, if you have like a MailChimp account, you can just click here to connect so that whenever people fill in the newsletter that you've seen on the side of the blog, it's gonna fill in your MailChimp, okay? So, and email settings, so I'm gonna save this, email settings, uh, customer email support, so you can put in uh, your email where you want per customers to, uh, you know, to be, um, when somebody uh, says something, it's gonna write to that email, and voila. And uh, oh, yeah, this is the auto confirm message. So you can, you know, make it um, thank you for your order, blah, blah, blah. And uh, so you can, you know, t tailor it for you. And it's pretty, I mean, it's pretty intense. You can really sell a lot of things. I've seen, you know, uh, photographers selling uh, fine art prints, selling uh, uh, screen, uh, how do you say, uh, screen savers, or selling uh, books. You know, you can do all that uh, with these options. All you have to do is, uh, Go there and you just can, you know, uh, sorry, go, go to your page, to your product page, which is here is the fine art prints and just, you know, just add products. Right now on the free trial, I can only add one product, but it's still pretty cool. So, you know, uh, there is more to be learned on that, but I think that should get you started if you if you buy the full, uh, you will see it's very, very easy to sell things on, on Squarespace. Okay, now let's go to the about page, which is like, like a more classic page. So I'm gonna put some text about myself, uh, blah, 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 this is who I am. So it's fake test here, all right. And now I wanna put a photo of me so I can click here and add an image. So I'm gonna take my portrait, which is here. Save, open and save. Okay. I can make this a little bit smaller. All right. It's just to make the, the, the photo smaller, there is a, well, the best way is to put it with a text. So you drag and drop the photo until, you see when it's a black line, it means it's gonna be between the text, like above or below the text. But if you drag and drop it over the, the text itself, it becomes a smaller square and then you can I can play around. I can make it smaller like this. Uh, I can make it you know smaller like this. And with the text, which is cool, uh, I can say, this is my name, Serge Ramelli. All right, this is a caption. If I wanna change how the caption is gonna look like, uh, caption is below, caption is overlay, it's on the photo. Uh, you know, I'll leave it a caption below, save. So it's, it's pretty straightforward and like, this is just a classic page. If you want to add any items to it, uh, what you can do is, um, it's basically, uh, I'm just gonna save that. All right. You find this little menu here, you click, and I can add anything, a video, embedded audio, text. Uh, so I could add some more text, for example. Uh, uh, here, let's make this smaller. The text is here, so let's, Take some other text that's which is here, and you know you can. Uh, it's pretty. Uh, it's pretty easy to use. Uh, on the the text itself, I can you know of course do, do things. But let's say that I'm talking about my YouTube channel in my text, and I want to link to it with these words. Well, I can just uh, uh, take for example this word here, and click on the link, and then you know put in uh, my YouTube channel for example which is www.youtube.com slash C-M-O-U. 
Okay, and uh, so now we've got a working link here. Uh, I can make, a, of course, a text bigger, you know, uh, like head normal or uh, let's see what do we have here. That's a different size of the text. Paste to plain text. No, that's not what I want to do. Uh, you know, <sighs> this is like the HTML type of text, you know, so um, I can, you can it's just a regular editor that you have. All right, so now let's see uh, view page. Oh, still on this page, I have to save first. View page. And now the about page is ready and uh, here is my link to my YouTube channel. Oh, I made a mistake on, on the name, but whatever. Uh, you get the idea. So it's very easy to make uh, links. Let's go back. Let's go back to where we were on the square space. And uh, here is the link, by the way, to the to uh, the Facebook we created. So that's pretty cool. Okay, so that's my uh, uh, that's my about page. Now, oh, by the way, this title is not the way I want it. So I'm gonna go back. I want it to be on one line. So I'm gonna go back here to this, and I'm gonna go back here to the uh, stylized mode. Click here. Uh, on this, uh, blah, 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 the font. Okay, let me go and show all, navigation, navigation. Yeah, that's that's it, navigation. And the fonts, I think there it's 13. I'm gonna make it a bit smaller. Yeah, 11 pixel. I just wanted everything there to be there. Saved, okay. And uh, you can also, you know, I, c I can also make uh, this smaller or bigger. I can make this closer to here, you know, by selecting this part. Uh, so you can uh, actually drag and drop and make it how you want it. Okay, let me save this, that's a bit better. Um, so, okay, so we did Paris. Let's see here. Uh, we did Paris, we did travel and landscape page, we did portraits, uh, search remedy blog, so we did a blog with a subscribe here, okay, and um, I showed you how you can link this to MailChimp, which is cool, and how you can edit this. Uh, for example, if I don't want a little bit about us, I can leave it, or categories, I can leave it. Find and prints, we only have one fine print that we can sell, so, uh, and then we did the about page uh, with a little photo, and now let's do the contact page. So let's do the contact page. Let's go back into that. Contact page. Okay, and uh, so let's add on this one, I'm gonna add a form, all right? And I'm gonna call this contact. Okay, and by default, they give you email, uh, name, email, subject message, which I think is cool. Uh, so just saved, and here is uh, our contact page, that was pretty, I mean, you can add some more text, you can add photos, you can uh, you can add things, but there's many things to be more, but look at this, in, in about an hour, we've got three galleries, we got a blog, we got a little shop, and about page and contact page. And honestly, with the WordPress, the first time I did it, it took me literally a week to get to that point. And I did this to you, uh, you know, in one hour, and I'm not a Squarespace expert. So this is really why I, I picked them up as a partner, because, I really like that technology. I think, you know, we are photographers, we're not webmasters. And so it's kind of cool to be able to use that technology and get a website out there, which are very professional in no time. Uh, don't forget to use the code PHOTOSEARCH when you buy and get 10% off. And voila, so I hope you like this tutorial and I will see you in another. All right, guys, I hope you like this video and I hope you do check out the complete package. It's really the best bang for your bucks that you can get. Uh, it's really all I've ever done is years and years of, of hard work and training, but I love sharing. And I will see you in another episode. Mesdames et messieurs, au revoir.